Houston at Jacksonville. Can CJ Stroud break the rookie passing record? Well, as we were saying before the for show, yards, bro, for yards. Yeah, as we were saying before the show, uh, especially with the extra game, as of right now, hey, certainly possible. And CJ Stroud looks amazing. You know, and I'm, as I was saying, I'm honest guy. I wasn't necessarily as high on him coming into the season as maybe a few other quarterbacks, you know, rookie quarterbacks, especially, like I said, of all the Ohio State QBs, you know, as of recent, that came out where I was like, okay, he's going to be the guy. Well, we know CJ's the guy. He's breaking the Ohio State curse. That's been, you know, everybody's been saying recently. And it's obviously true. Uh, you know, he's dominating, standing in that pocket. Bless you, bro. Golly. Allergy season. I allergy know. season hitting different, bro. And no, but. Jokes aside, look, CJ looks awesome. He looks confident, making throws inside the numbers, outside the numbers, putting the ball exactly what it needs to be. He's showing you everything you want to see. I mean, you got to love it if you're a Texans fan. Oh my. And on top of it, on top of it, bro, we got to acknowledge, uh, Tank Dell was an absolute steal. I you know we knew this yeah. coming. We were we were high on Tank Dell coming in. Uh, you know, fell a little farther than we expected. And CJ wanted him directly. I think it's showing. It's showing in the tape. It's showing in the way they have a connection. Uh, they, they have a real connection going on. Houston, you know, you got to be excited down there in Houston. Uh, they definitely got a lot to be excited for. Yeah, so I was not that big on Stroud either coming out. Not that I wasn't, not that I didn't think he'd be good, but definitely not this fast. Like, the way he's come on to the scene has been crazy. And you can tell, like, him and Dell already have a connection. And him going, and him telling you, like, Houston to go out and get him, like, the fact that he told them to do that or like requested it from them, they did it and it's working. Like, I think like favors um, Stroud a lot and like puts him in a really good light. Like, and also like D'Amico Ryans has done such a great job, like building this kind of like culture already in Houston. Like you can see like the team's identity, like you can see the fluidity and how they play. Houston has like a bright future with their young playmakers and their defense have been, has been impressive. I mean, their secondary is graded like 10th for coverage by PFF. And once they get that front a little bit more right, Will Anderson, I think, block that field goal too. Like they have some pieces here in Houston and they're overperforming. I feel like a lot of people uh, from what a lot of people thought. And, you know, Jacksonville has been kind of disappointing in that, in that aspect, Very. but they shouldn't be putting up 37 on Jacksonville like that's just whether that's lack of offense from Jacksonville lack of defense from Jacksonville it's just been uh kind of unfortunate I don't really have much to say on the Jags other than like they've been playing very uninspiring and like Calvin Ridley Calvin Ridley has like a case of the drops like he has been dropping a lot and you know I'm honestly unimpressed with their defense too against Houston I I just don't know um, really kind of Jacksonville has to figure out on offense because that is what carried them last year. And, you know, they're strong, you know, where they were strong last year is, is really not, um, where they're strong this year. Well, okay. Well, I'll start with this because absolutely you're spot on. Uh, number one, you know, we were saying, everybody's been saying the whole off season, the Jags had to address the defense. They didn't address the defense. Um, not just that. Another thing I want to talk about is cause I was looking this weekend. I'm kind of like, all right, you know, let me get let me get a good look at Trayvon Walker. Let me see how Trayvon Walker's been playing. You know, let me just let me look myself. Let me take a look at the numbers from the past couple weeks specifically on certain things like how much pressure he's getting, all these other things. And it's like, and I know they've been moving around a little bit, trying new things. And honestly, unfortunately, the way it looks, and it's not like I don't think this is really something that has much room to change. It's just the way it's going to be. Aiden Hutchinson was clear in a way the better pick at that spot, and they they passed on him, and now he's dominating on the Lions D line, and Trayvon Walker is struggling on the Jags D line. That's uh number one, I feel like was kind of like if you could circle the biggest reason why this is happening right now, it probably falls down to that. You know, they're struggling really on the most important part of the defense. They don't have much depth there right now. And yeah, it is what it is, right? Yeah. They're 29th in pass rush right now. And it's not, and that's where, again, like you said too, with the offense, the Jaguars offense also just been completely uninspiring. I mean, there's not really much consistency going on. The run game is definitely not where you want it to be. Uh, You definitely, I mean, we thought T-Law was going to have a huge jump going for like a 5,000 yard passing season this year. And uh, where it's at right now, we're definitely not on pace for that. But back to the Texans, because I feel like that's more, you know, I, I want to talk more about the Texans because I love where the Texans are at right now, even though obviously we know the record's not competing amazing this year. It's, you know, it's a big work in progress. You know, it's like clay being molded right now. But you got to love the base. The base is definitely what you want to see. Because, again, we said already about CJ. But I want to talk about with D'Amico Ryans. Like you can, like you said about the identity, you can clearly see this team went from being like, oh, yeah, you're just able to come in and do whatever you want to the Texans. The defense now is going to be like, Now, I don't want to say the identity because with CJ, on the other hand, I can't say that on the other side of the ball. But the defense is going to be obviously a much, much just more intense, violent unit. We can see it on the field, the way they're playing. 
Uh, there, a lot of the in a lot of the young players, rookies, uh, you know, going crazy. You got to love to see it. The Texans is a whole unit, uh, definitely one of the best young units in the league. And again, the record this year is not going to show you anything amazing, but you definitely got to love the base of the team, and they have a great future.